Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the latest version of Blinky. Blinky is an After Effects script that lets you add a blinking text cursor to the end of any text layer inside of After Effects. So inside this comp I just have a text layer and I'm going to select it and then with Blinky installed I can click this Add Blinky button. So if I click on this text layer again, I can see I have this new effect called Typewriter applied. Uh, I'm going to hit the stopwatch to create a keyframe, and then I'm going to hit U to see that keyframe on the timeline. I'm going to drag this forward to about the two second mark, and then I'm going to make another keyframe at 0%. And so this will automatically animate the text being typed out. Now I can actually customize the um, cursor itself by selecting this layer. And then here I have a lot of options. So I can change the color. Um, I'll make it a bit thicker. I could give it rounded caps and we'll just click off to see what that looks like. Make it just a little thicker so you can see. Um, and then you can also uh, nudge it over um, and you can actually get really creative with this. Um, so one thing that's cool is you could um, you know, increase the thickness quite a bit. I'll turn rounded caps off and then I will um, decrease the height and I can make like an underscore kind of thing. And that's looking pretty good. And again, the cursor will uh, blink once it's done typing out. As the text is being typed out, it'll stay solid. Um, that's to mimic how um, most um, text cursors work. Um, and then this blink duration effect. So that's going to control how many frames the cursor will be visible and then how many frames it'll be invisible. So it'll alternate um, 15 frames on, 15 frames off. So if I change this to two, that'll result in a really fast blinking animation. Um, so obviously that's probably too fast. Um, so I could just change this to 10. That's looking a lot more reasonable. Uh, this text alignment effect, uh, that's just, um, that'll automatically get applied based on what your paragraph alignment is of your text. So you don't have to worry about this unless you change your paragraph alignment. Um, on your text, you'll just want to make sure you change this as well. Um, just uh, And this will just give the cursor, um, uh, it'll just help it be positioned um, more precisely. Um, then there's this detect spaces. So that will just add, make sure the cursor is um, uh, moving uh, when there is a space here. So if I turned that off, that would be snapped to the E until that next actual character comes in. So uh, that's kind of a handy feature to make it uh, a little bit more natural. And then finally, there's the RTL, which is for right to left languages like Arabic or Hebrew. So you could just toggle this on and it'll flip the cursor around. Um, of course, you'd, this only works with right to left uh, text. Um, but yeah, then um, I'll show you how it works with multi-line text. So it's a little bit different. Um, same process though. So you select a text layer and then you click the add blinky button. Again, I'll just make this animation real quick so I can um, Set this to two seconds and then you can see that getting typed out and it looks normal. Um, but what this is doing under the hood is it's just creating another text layer. Um, and this is hidden, but this will just let the uh, cursor know exactly where it should be with each line. Um, so don't delete this because that'll break the effect, but just keep it hidden and you can toggle on the uh, shy layers and you don't actually have to see that. Um, lastly, I wanted to address, uh, um, there's a common bug I see people running into. And so that is um, actually have, has to do with the expressions. And so it's a super easy fix. Uh, if you go to file, project settings, and then expressions, make sure your expression engine is set to JavaScript. So I see a lot of people having their expression engine set to legacy extend script. And I'll just show you what this does. This, if you're seeing some sort of square or some sort of box, and then I should get some sort of expression errors. If, yeah. Um, so um, anyway, super easy fix. If you're seeing this, just go again, go to file, then project settings, and then expressions, and just make sure this is set to JavaScript. So yeah, that is Blinky.
If you have any questions, feel free to email help at aescreens.com. And if you're interested, I give away a free tool every month, so sign up at aescreens.com.